Hello everybody, Julia here from Just One More Card and today I want to show you how to create a super cute window card using purple onion designs stamps and dies from my favorite things. So let's get started. Here are the stamps that I'm going to be using. They are from Purple Onion Designs and they are red rubber stamps. And I'm using my stamp of magic here, not to uh, use a use it for pre precise positioning, but just in case I need to double stamp, um, it's easier to have the stamp of magic at hand. Even if it's just to stabilize the acrylic block a bit, so I can um, uh, stamp it again without this happening here, because I didn't line it up correctly, so that's why this happened. Um, so I'm stamping this again, and this time it worked perfectly. So the green positioner tool is really handy when it comes to just making sure that you are that you don't move um, the acrylic block around too much. As for the coloring, I'm just doing some easy Copic coloring. Easy Copic coloring for me is um, simple blending going from dark to light. I like to go from dark to light because that helps me to make sure that I have enough space left for the highlight. You can see here that I'm coloring over the lightest area just once because I want to make sure that um, it doesn't get too dark. I'm even adding a little bit of a dark gray here into the darkest area and blending it out with the darkest green, green, sorry, um, just to make sure that the contrast there is, is nice and deep. But overall, I like to go over the lightest area just once with my lightest color, because I feel that if you saturate the paper with one color first and then go over this later again, it will become dark. Like, that's just the nature of copy coloring, and I personally don't like that. I know a lot of people saturate the paper first with their first color, um, and then go over it again later on, but I personally, I don't like that. To me, that's too dark. So that's why I always leave um, the highlight place white until the very end, and only then go over it once with the lightest color. That's a personal preference. There's no right or wrong about that. Um, if you like the look you have gotten so far with the technique you've been using, just keep using that. Uh, like I said, for me personally, I don't like that. Now here for the owl, I'm having a very light touch with my Copic marker. I'm holding it very gently so I can add these tiny little details here. Um, I used the flicking technique around the eye to add some detail there because I want the eyes to remain white so they well, you know, so they look more impressive. And then here on the wings, I'm just adding a little bit of shadow um, to make it appear as if the feathers are stacked. You know, one feather is on top of another, and if a, if a feather is on top of another feather, feather, it will cast a shadow on the feather underneath. I hope that makes sense. Just hold one of your hands on top of the other. The hand that is on top will cast a shadow on the hand that is underneath, and that's what I'm trying to show here. I'm using my lightest color to blend everything together. I'm going over everything and blending quite you know, intensely to make sure this um, comes out nicely. And then I'm using just some oranges here to color in his beak and the feet. And the rest I'm just leaving white. Now on the snail here, I actually ended up coloring the, the little guy a little too dark. I wish I wouldn't have gone quite that dark, but I tried to correct that by um, adding really, really dark color into the um, detail areas later on. So you can see here that I'm tried to, tried to restrain myself um, with the darker colors, only add, a, add them to a, like um, some areas of the snail, and then blending out with the lightest color here, which is still pretty dark overall. So that's why I'm coming in with this really dark color and just adding it into the shadow areas and blending it out a tiny little bit to increase the contrast. There we go. And then I'm just using a few um, uh, warm grays here for the body of the snail. Again, adding just a tiny little bit of the darker color there and then blending this out with the lightest color. Because I don't want this to be too dark. There we go. Now this is a die by My Favorite Things and you can uh, clip these apart so you have three separate dies, but I wanted to keep them together because I feel that it's great to create window cards or maybe even shaker cards and not have to, not have to worry about the spacing. So that's why I left them together. I put this panel on top of my card base and I'm just tracing the shapes here with my pencil so I'll know where they are because I want to do some um, distress inking here. 
and I'm using a piece of paper to make sure that my fingers don't smudge the color and that I don't go too far down and I'm just adding a hint of blue here like I want to have a hint of the sky behind the critters but not too much when I was done with this, I adhered my piece here to my uh, to the mat for my scan and cut machine and had it had it cut out the critters for me. And with the owl, I had to add a, you know you know it wasn't perfect. I had to um, create a very large border so it would could uh, cut out the owl. My goodness, this is really difficult today. Um, and then I grabbed my scissors and I just trimmed down this wide, this huge border to a much smaller border, much narrower border. I added a sentiment also from Purple Onion Designs into one of those openings using my stamp and magic. And then I'm using some foam behind this panel to mount it. And I'm adding also some foam behind those um, critters here and putting them into those windows so they will peek out. And of course, I could not help myself. I had to add some sequins by Pretty Pink Posh using different green colors here. I think that's lime green and mossy green. And the tiny one is the new three millimeter sparkling clear size. I will be listing all the supplies in the video description below and on my blog. Here's a close up of the owl that I've, that I've colored. You can see the nice detail around the eyes and how the wings really look dimensional. Here's our little mouse and you can see the shadow that his little hat, the leaves, are casting onto his hat. Head, hat, head, no, the one with the D, the head. And here's the snail in the close-up of the entire card. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I kept it very clean and simple and I feel that the color really pops with the critters and the blue background that I created. If you liked uh, these uh, window, if you like these window card type cards, here are two more that you might enjoy. And please subscribe to my channel. I swear there are lots of awesome videos to come. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.